All right, hey guys, I need to turn down the volume on my phone because I'm sure that there might be some people who tweet this out and everything. So I don't want that to happen and be noisy. But um, yeah, I usually wait about five minutes. I say it starts at nine so that people can start coming in about around then, but I then wait because that's when the stream starts. I just started it, but then I wait about five minutes for people to come in. I don't know why I'm explaining that now because nobody's here, but yeah, that I know of. Anyway, I'm going to refresh my dashboard because it's not actually showing things correctly for me. So, like I said, just wait for people to come in because I don't want to pull a good card and then, you know, have nobody here to watch, if that makes sense. So, yeah. I didn't give as much warning on Poke Crate, but I or on Poke Crate, sorry, on Pokemon Collectors, but I gave plenty of warning on Twitch. Twitch. I can't talk today on Twitter cuz I gave about a half an hour warning on there. And then I yeah. I don't know who this is that just favorited my tweet. Nobody who follows me, of course. Doesn't even mention Pokemon in their Twitter. I don't know. But like I said, I'm going to wait until people actually start coming in to the stream. Hopefully they do. I mean, I guess I, I know it's pretty late, but I like getting these Pokey Cake streams out there. So I don't know if people have already done it for the February one. February one's really late, by the way. I suggest shipping them out sooner. It's kind of upsetting that it's already March 3rd and you're already almost I mean four days you're going to charge me for the next pokey crate and I just got this one but yet later and later every month I guess but as long as I get it what I paid for and while I wait for people I'm finishing my food Again, if you're here, I usually wait five minutes from the beginning. If anyone is here, go ahead and talk in the chat, though, so I know. If you can, anyway. I know it's late. I know some people have school today, tomorrow, but... These streams usually only take about an hour, or maybe a little bit more, so, or sometimes less. Depending on what I have, this one might take a little bit more, maybe less, I don't know, something like that. i got about one more minute that I'm going to wait before I start, so... I just get, like to give people a chance to come into the stream. Doesn't look like anybody's here, though. I don't know if that puts people off when they come in. Because I see people come in, see the number go up, and I see it go down. But I just started, like, four minutes ago. And I don't want to start, I mean, if I can't, if at all possible, I want to give people time to come into the stream. But... If you're just going to leave like that and not even say anything, then it's your choice. Okay. It's about time for me to start. I'm gonna move. I'm sorry for the noise there. Move over a bit.
And my spoon fell in my food. Oh well. You know what? I'm gonna put this up here. And I may end up being 9.06. I didn't start right at 9 o'clock, so. Oh well. That's gonna start. I'm gonna start opening now, so. I guess we'll have to. I'm gonna start with this guy. And uh, you can see my other Celebi there, by the way. I'll go ahead and move that guy. Ah, as I just, like, completely <laughs> crashed that onto the floor. Sorry, guys. That was a complete bad on my part. You don't usually see that happen in my streams. Uh, let me get that back to how it was. <laughs> and I just moved it again. There we go. All right, we're going to start with this guy, because we always start from oldest to newest. At least I always do. <laughs> uh, yeah, the camera exploded. Kawaii Chow, thank you for coming to the stream, by the way. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. The camera exploded. Really good way to put that. Um, taking the ops outside off of this. Obviously, you get your book with this. Um, I really like the color of this one. It's like a... I don't know what color you would call this. It's like a burgundy, maybe? It's right there. I like the color of this Elite Trainer box. I'm going to go ahead and put that in front of the Pokey Crate for now. Um, obviously, we get... These, which I'm going to use these to sleep my cards today. We get the um, dice, the energies, things like that. But code card that I'm going to put to the side because you guys aren't going to see that. Anyway, we get this many and those. This many breakthroughs packs. I'm just going to go ahead and go through them in the order they are. Make sure that the one I want to open last is last, like normal. I don't really care about the others. I just want the Hound Dudes to be last. There we go. So, we're going to go ahead and start with this and see what we pull. I don't know why. I just have a fascination of putting, like, either my favorite Pokemon or my friend's favorite Pokemon in the back and be the last ones to open. So, man, code cards are not. Whoop excuse me, are not facing backwards like they usually are. One, two, three. One, two. And I don't, I have not pulled Typhlosion yet, and Cyndaquil line is my favorite, so that's kind of disappointing, but let's see here. Oh, really? Yeah, I buy way too many packs, to be honest, but let's see here. We get a Remoraid, a Doduo, a Piplop, a Hippopotas, a Pansage, a Haunter, a Prinplup, a Dedene, a Ghastly, and a Foil Octillery. So we're going to be using our, um, if I can, <laughs> we're going to be using our uh, sleeves right off the bat. It's not an EX, but it's a Foil. I already have this one too, but you know, heck. Who cares? It's a foil. So, to start off with a foil is fairly decent. At least it's a foil. I don't want to start off with the best, obviously. So there's there's Octillery for you in his sleeve. And uh, you need one, one promo Sugo 2009. Oh, this Ghastly card? Yeah, it's reverse foil. But, um... I mean, yeah, go buy, go see if your Walmart or one of the other stores around you has um, the Celebi box, because, I mean, I'm not giving away either of them. I'm keeping them both, for now, anyway. I don't know what I'm going to mean. If I end up with enough, I may end up giving them away, but that's up to me, and I'm not just going to, like, give any of them to you. So, one, two, three, one, two... Alright, so we start with Cubone. No 
Boy Bat, Pikachu, Magnemite, Snubble, Frogadier, Wobbuffet, Cactor, Inke, and Staraptor. So nothing great yet out of this, but we'll see, we'll see. On to the next pack. All I hope is that I don't pull the same Mewtwo EX that I've gotten three of already. Because every, almost every set I get uh, an EX that I pull like four of. And I've pulled three of a Mewtwo EX already, so. I want a different EX for once. I mean, I've gotten some different EXs and full arts and stuff, but. So we start this one off with Froakie, Snover, Cacnea, Spritzy, a Ghastly, a Fracture, Fracture, I can't talk, a Parallel City, a Seeking, ooh, a Reverse Foil Quilava, not even bad for me, nice, and a Halucha. I'm actually going to set that Reverse Foil Quilava to the side, because... That's pretty nice. That'd be nice if I get a full reverse foil collection at some point, but I can't even pull a single Typhlosion, so. Okay, I'm gonna there we go. Code cards are all normal in this pack, which is in this box, which is interesting. Alright, let's see what we get. We get a Swinub. Can you focus on Swinub, please? Please, and thank you. There we go. Swine up. Starly. Fennekin. Flabebe. Sandshrew. Behem. A Grand Bull. A Judge. A Reverse Foil Pan Sage. And holy cow, a Full Art Mewtwo EX. And this is the same full art Mewtwo EX that I already have. At least it's not. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I guess at least I, maybe I can trade it for the other full art Mewtwo at this point. Because I think that would be a fairly fair trade, I would think. But, <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, at least we got a full art. That's pretty cool. And it's not the exact, I mean, it's not the Mewtwo EX that I have four of, or three of already, because that's not a full art. But this one, now I have two of this Mewtwo EX. But you know what? <laughs> that's pretty nice. Full art Mewtwo. We're going to move on to the next one. Okay. Code card is normal. One. Two, three, one, two. Come on, give me a Typhlosion, jeez. I want Typhlosion to complete my Cyndaquil line. <laughs> okay, so we start off with a Panpour, a Vanillite, a Panseer, a Pancham, all the Pans, a Inke, a Swoobat, a Gogoat, a Town Map. A uh, Spritzy, and a Chatot. That's a rare? Well, I don't think I have Chatot yet, so. Oh, hey, Galacticalia! Thank you for <laughs> thank you for hosting! Oh my goodness, I'm doing a card opening stream and you're hosting me. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Elliot. Love you, Elliot. Oh my goodness. Did not expect that. <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you. Probably not even related to what you were doing, but... <laughs> thank you, guys. Ah, thank you for following Har Havart Havarti, too. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna try to open a pack <laughs> while I'm being raided. <laughs> Let's see if I can get anything else for you guys to watch. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Thank you for following Me Meows 1011, or 1011, whatever you want to call that. Um, but let, let's get this to focus on 
hippopotas here. There's a hippopotas. <laughs> uh, Ace of Spades, thank you for following. A Cyndaquil! Oh my god, Elliot, look! <laughs> look at that! Uh, look at the Cyndaquil! Uh, thank you for following uh, Conkles to the Max. I do not play Neo Monsters, Ace of Spades, sorry. <laughs> the cute little adorable cinnabon. This is perfect right here. Uh, the ring better be shiny, XD. Thank you for uh, following. <laughs> um, Goldeen, gamer lover123, thank you for following. Starly. Uh, Chespin, Pincer. Uh, thank you for following Kawaii Chow. Uh, Staravia, Frogadier, a Reverse Foil Quilladin, and a, ooh, a Cresselia. I don't know if I have this Cresselia yet or not, so that's pretty cool. Thank you for following Mega Moga 420, 420. I should, could have, should have just said 420. Ah, uh, no, Tiamat I got from some other things. That's definitely not the only place Tiamat comes from. Uh, like, Golden Sun has Tiamat. Thank you for following Link the Hero of the Winds. Of Winds? I put a dot in there. Yeah. But yeah, Tiamat is actually, uh... Uh, Lazy Gal 9, thank you for following, from Babylonian Mythology. I believe it's Babylonian Mythology, I could be wrong. I don't remember. It's something like that. It's a dragon that's supposed to be, like, the mother of the world or whatever. Hey, thank you for following Person715. All right, so then we get a Woobat in this pack, a Rufflet. Thank you for following Sonic Charge. Uh, Chespin, another Chespin, back-to-back -back Chespins. Different cards, though, if you didn't notice. There's actually three Chespins in the set. Thank you for following Glitter Gardevoir. Uh, Zorua, a Swoobat, a Go-Go. A Mewtwo Spirit Link, and it's not focusing very well all of a sudden. Come on, focus on Floatstone. Reverse Foil Floatstone. Hi, Purple Penguin. You get some sleep. A Dodrio. I know I don't have that card yet, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so now we're going to move on to this one right here. And this is our last, last pack of the uh, Breakthrough Elite Trainer Box. And all the code cards have been normal, so that's pretty nice. We've only gotten one EX, but it was a full art, even if it was a full art that I already had. So this definitely isn't as good as my last Elite Trainer box, but, you know, I've gotten cards I didn't have yet, so I still haven't pulled Typhlosion. So that's a bit disappointing. But we get a Doduo, a Paris, a Staryu, a Skiddo, a Bronzor, a Cacturn. Oh, I see something. A Glalie Spirit Link. A Haunter. Ooh, a Noivern Break card. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Noivern Break. That's really, I believe that's the last Break card I need in this set, too. So that's pretty nice. And then enough with the Bronzong that I already have. But I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that Noivern Break. Um, put that in the right way because it's all foil and everything. All right, so there's that Noivern break card. So we're gonna set that aside. For those who were, came later, um, I pulled a foil octillery. That's the first card I pulled, rare I pulled. And then we pulled a full art Mewtwo. And this actually just happens to be the full art Mewtwo I already have, so. <laughs> but. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to move all this uh, Elite tra Oh, my camera went fuzzy because my arm was in the way. I'm going to move all this elite, tra elite Trainer Box stuff out of the way. And then let's get this to focus again. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and go up with get this uh, Mew card and start opening that. And I need to move my camera a little bit because it's kind of out of line. There we go. Still out of line. Come on. There we go. So we're going to start with this. All 
All right, have a good night, Mega Molga420. Uh, if I can open this Mew box, let's see. There we go. There we go. Okay, so if you guys haven't seen these yet, it comes with a uh, kind of a little thing, a little checklist, poster box, poster thing. And then it's got the poster on that side. Um, and then we've got the uh, the Mew pin here, so that's pretty cool. And then we've got, uh, let me get the code card out of here first, and then I've got to try to get the, there we go. And then we've got the Mew promo card that I am going to go ahead and sleeve because it's completely foiled. So, if I can get the sleeve open, there we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put that in, in there. And there we go, so there's that new promo. Okay, so now we've got the Generations packs. I'm going to go ahead and start with Charizard here, just because. I actually prefer Venusaur over Charizard, even though I like Charizard a lot. One of my best friends, or my best friend, has Venusaur as their, like, Bulbasaur Venusaur line is one of their favorites, so. Alright, so I need to remember how these packs go. I believe it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, I believe is how that goes. We're going to find out if I'm right. <laughs> All right, so first thing we've got is a Ponyta, and then a Shelter, a Fairy Energy, a Zubat, a Gulpin, an Olympia, a Pokemon Fan Club, ooh, a Reverse Foil Pokeball, holy cow, Sylveon EX! <laughs> Sylveon EX hype right there. There's a Parasect too, but we got a Sylveon EX. I am hyped. Holy cow. No, it's different from Gamer, Lo Gamer Lover. It's different because, um, I mean, it's different for these. I, what I do is I put the uncommons in front. I don't put the uncommons in front of the whole set. I put them in front of the, uh, in front of the rares, so I go commons, uncommons, then I go my rares. But, yeah, Sylveon EX. Let's get a better look at this if it will focus. There we go. Dress up and precious ribbon. Nice. I'm happy with that. Definitely happy with that. My first good generations poll. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to go on to this one right here. And see what we pull out of this. So let's see here. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> All right, so we got a Caterpie. Can we focus on Caterpie? Please, focus, focus. There we go. Now it's focused on Caterpie. All right, so we got a Caterpie, a Doduo. Look at that cute Doduo art. I really like that Doduo art. We got a Water Energy, a Ghastly, a Floral Crown, an Energy Switch, a Revitalizer, a Reverse Foil Haunter. Ooh, a Foil Zoroark. Not even bad. Not even bad. And, as you can see, we got a Jolteon EX. Holy cow. Holy cow. We need two sleeves here. Foil. Foil of Eltol and Jolteon EX. Two EXs in a row. Uh, well, two different, two EXs in that same box. So we got Foil of Eltol, and then we got the Jolteon EX. Oh, wow. Didn't expect that <laughs> to get two EXs out of there. My last two... Did I say Zoroark? 
I said Zorark, didn't I? I meant to Veltal. I am so sorry. I get excited sometimes. <laughs> but with Swift and Flash Ray... So that's pretty cool right there. Oh my goodness, this makes up for not getting anything in the last... And I didn't see who followed me. I'm sorry, I missed that completely. Um, I was distracted by the chat. I'm sorry completely. Um, did it message me who followed me? I don't know if it emailed me who followed me. Um, it. I don't think it did yet, so sorry about that. I missed it. <laughs> But we're going to go ahead and actually go on to this one with the Celebi in it. And then we'll open the other Celebi box. So let me go ahead and get that open. I don't know if I've seen anybody open Celebi boxes yet. So this is pretty exciting to me. Oh, well, thank you for following, Serial Killer. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. The I appreciate that. The promo card kind of just fell out instead of me having to try to get it out. But there's the, there's the Celebi pin. And then... Alright. Well, thank you again. Thank you for following, Serial Killer. Alright, so there we go. There's the Celebi promo. I actually like the, I think I like this one better than the Mew promo, so that, this one's really nice. I like it a lot. It's got Time Call and Leech Seed. And then we have get, of course, we got two more packs. Are you talking about Poke Crate? There, go to PokeCrate.com and you'll see. So we're going to go ahead and start out with Blastoise since we already opened a Charizard pack and see what we get out of there. We're going to get some more hype. That Mew box was definitely nice. I chose the right Mew box for that one. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. What do we get? One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's see what we pull out of this one. Uh, we get a Meowth. We get a Rhyhorn. We get Ponyta. Shelter. Eh. A Wobbuffet? <laughs> Look at that Wobbuffet. Okay, then. A Clefable. A Golbat. A Reverse Foil Maintenance. A Dedenne. Foil Dedenne. All of these cards, by the way, are foil, but that's really nice. I don't have Dedenne yet, so I'm not going to complain too much about that. And then we get a Pinsir, which I don't think I've pulled Pinsir from this set yet, so I'm not going to complain. But I'm going to go ahead and sleeve this Dedenne because it is foil. And I don't have one yet, so there we go. There's Dedenne. Little sleeping Dedenne. Okay, so now we're going to move on to this pack. <laughs> it looks like a pancake. So we're going to move on to the Charizard pack. And see what we pull out of this one. Alright, so one, two... Three, one, two, three. Alright. Come on, focus on Geodude here. Geodude, come on. Focus. Can we focus? Thank you, there we go. There's Geodude. A Fire Energy. A Magikarp, but you could get foil versions of this one from Toys R Us on Pokemon Day. You can't get them anymore, but Shelter, a Swablu, a Machoke, a Pokemon Fan Club, a Reverse Foil Meowth in the same pack, I think, that we got a Meowth to begin with, didn't we? Oh, maybe not. That was a Geodude. The Meowth was the last pack. And then we get a Charizard. No way. There we go. Charizard out of the Charizard pack. Look at that. Not even bad. Not even bad. Alright, so then we get Charizard, and we get Blastoise EX! What is this? Oh my goodness. 
Blastoise EX. Out of four Generations packs, we've gotten three EXs. Holy cow. Not even going to be mad about that right there. <laughs> Holy cow. Sleeving that immediately, and then I need another sleeve for the, uh, the Charizard, if I can get into these brand new sleeves. Holy cow. <laughs> Charizard and Blastoise EX, right there. <laughs> Dang. Alright, so, now we've got one more Celebi box, and then we'll move on to the Poke Crate and see what we pull out of that, so. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay. So we got another pin, of course, because those are always in there. And then we got another code card that I'm going to keep. There we go, got the promo card out. And I guess I'll show this to you again for those who might have missed it. Possibly. Um, maybe, if I can get it into the sleeve. There we go. So there's Celebi, again, if you missed it before. So there's the second Celebi promo that I got. And so now we're gonna move on to these packs, and we're going to open Pikachu first, because Venusaur is the last, so. Okay, my first two boxes had nothing in them, and I pulled a duplicate from the Radiant Collection in my first two boxes, so I was pretty upset about that, but one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, let's see what we get here. Hopefully some good stuff that I don't have yet. So we start off with Zubat. If it can focus on Zubat. There we go. Maybe? There we go. Zubat. Uh, Metal Energy, which I've pulled like five of these things, I swear. Maybe not quite that many, but I swear I pull them from like almost every other pack. A Magmar. A Paris. A Shroomish. That's interesting. If you didn't notice, there's that little uh, gemmy thing up here in the corner of Shroomish. I wonder why that's there. That's interesting. You don't usually see stuff like that on cards. Uh, Clefable. A Golbat. A Reverse Foil Energy Switch. And a Flareon EX! Oh my goodness! Flareon EX followed by a Hitmonlee. But Flareon EX, what is this? Oh my goodness. I haven't pulled the ones I really want from this set yet, but my goodness, Flareon EX, not even bad. I know this is the Radiant Collection. Oh, Shiny Gardevoir, yeah. But Flareon EX, oh my goodness, Flash, Fla Flash Fire and Blaze Ball. There we go. <laughs> I'm not trading, Sugo, I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if we can get the Vaporeon that's in this. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. The Shroomish was Radiant Collection. That's weird. I thought you only got two Radiant Collections in this. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, uh, Zubat. Magmar. A Diglett. Okay. Uh, Fighting Energy. Whoops. A Wobbuffet. This must be Radiant. Yeah, this is Radiant Collection too. Okay. A Golbat. An Olympia. <laughs> Olympia, then reverse foil Wim Olympia. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, full art Sylveon EX. 
Whole Heart Sylveon EX. Oh my goodness. Followed by a Rapidash. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All the evolutions. All of them. <laughs> All of the evolutions, I swear. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Full art Sylveon. That's not even bad. I cannot complain about that. <laughs> okay, so I wonder what other ones were Radiant Collection that I didn't notice. There's Shroomish. There's... Oh, there's Swablu. Okay, I completely missed that Swablu was Radiant Collection. Okay, so I thought you only got one out of the Radiant Collection in each pack. But they set it up differently than they did last time, and some of the Radiant Collection aren't, um, they're commons, and they aren't foil like they are in the normal set. Okay. Okay, I get it. I understand now. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the Poke Crate and see what we pull out of this. So, well, I don't want to show my address, so I'm going to have to, um... My scissors fell to the floor earlier, and they're under this mess that I've made. So I'm trying to... There we go. There we go. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and open this, and I... I'm not sure if this is a uh, legit plush or not, but it does kind of look maybe a bit suspicious. I don't know. The bag looks kind of suspicious. The Van Presto does not have the sticker, I don't think, so I'm guessing this maybe this is probably a bootleg. Yeah, this is a bootleg. But, you know, it's an Alakazam plush that was in here, so um, I'm not going to be too complaining about that um, because, like I said, I explained it on Pokemon Collectors, so there's the Alakazam plush. And we're going to go ahead and pull this stuff out. I'm going to take the box down just because it's kind of not standing up properly, but here is the uh, the badge that you they've been putting in the uh... anyways the uh... no that is <laughs> that's Alakazam. It's not brown. It's a tan color. It's a yellowish color. It just might look brown on the screen, but anyway. Um, yeah, there's the badge that they've been putting in the badge-themed ones. There's a, uh, Sabrina's Abra card, which is pretty cool. Um, there's a, I don't know if this is, oh, this is a magnet. That's pretty cool. So there's a, uh, Kadabra magnet right there. Um, I know it's a magnet because of this. So there's a cadaver magnet, as I said, and it's not really focusing very well, but there's the cadaver magnet. Um, oh my goodness, the sticker. The sticker, though. I always love Pokey Crate stickers. Oh my goodness, the sticker. <laughs> oh, that haunter, though. <laughs> I can't help it. This episode... That this is that they 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 took this design that they modeled this design after, <laughs> with the little uh, Brock and Misty dolls. Oh my goodness, the Haunter! <laughs> I love this sticker. This is probably one of my favorite stickers I've gotten out of Poke Crate so far, to be honest. <laughs> they always include a sticker, and it's always like their designs of stickers. They're like custom stickers for Poke Crate only, and then like, this sticker right here. I can't stop laughing at this sticker. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop laughing at this sticker. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, and then, and then if, 
If you didn't know what this is, this is a pack for the Pokecune collection, which is what the Radiant collection in the Generation set is modeled after. So we are going to hopefully get some nice cards out of here. I think it comes with four cards in the pack. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and open this and see, see what we get out of here. If I can figure out what the best way to open these packs is, because I've never, never opened the Japanese packs before at all. I don't know what they suggest, whether it's that, no. Huh. Wonder if I can open them from the bottom easier? There we go. Kinda wanna save this pack though, so I don't wanna rip it. I wanna be able to give it to my friend who collects the packs. Okay, let's kinda go down to the bottom here. Sorry, I don't want to rip rip the pack. Okay, so Okay, so it gives something like this. I don't know what this is. It's a little card. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> I can't read it, obviously. We're going to go ahead and look at these. Like, see, this one wasn't foil in our set. So, there's that. We didn't have this cool heart foil. I'm going to have to get some of these packs in Japanese myself because this cool heart foil is just amazing. Look at that. But there's that. And then we get a Chikorita, which I haven't pulled yet. Can you focus on Chikorita, please? There we go. Chikorita. That's a really cute art for Chikorita. I like this. I like this foil, too. This foil is really nice. I wish we got foils like this in the U.S., And then a, a Glalie, not bad. Ooh, that's a cool foil too. Look at that. See, we don't we don't get the sparkly effect. We just get the normal background kind of thing on it. So, but that's pretty cool. And then we get so we don't get anything crazy, but we get a fl fl floet. Sorry, I couldn't think of the name, but we get a floet. And I like the Japanese ones. Like I said, I might have to buy some of these Japanese ones for myself just because did I say Glalie did I say Glalie oh my goodness I knew what I meant you knew what I meant I am fucking ah. <laughs> that's the second time I've messed up a name at least this one was closer as opposed to Zoroark to calling a Veltal Zoroark at least this is closer I know it's not a Glalie I can't even think of the name right now because I'm so <laughs> uh, so there's that, and then there's Floet. <laughs> anyway, are you talking about the Pokey Crates? Because, yeah, there's Pokey Crate. Just go to PokeyCrate.com. Uh, they, they do them monthly, and then they have some other versions you can get, but... Um, But yeah, these are really cool. I like these. I wish we had, like, look at that sparkle effect. I wish our cards had that starry sparkle effect. Thank you for following 3bun3bun3. And, uh, yeah, or this, or this heart effect. Like, look at that. Don't you wish our cards heart had this cool effect on them sometimes? Like, why did they, why when they moved them over, did they get rid of that cool, cool heart effect? Um, they're about, um, in total, after shipping, they're about $20 for me. So, it's shipping and tax, they're about $20 for me. So, um, but, they start out at like $15, I think. But then shipping and tax bring them about to $20 for me. But, man, I can't get over these cards. That was a really cool cool thing of them to include some Japanese, the Japanese Pokecune collection in here. That was really not what I was expecting at all. But let's, <laughs> let's, uh, let's uh, take one final look at this uh, Haunter. <laughs> the Haunter, though. Um, no, yes, right now they're only for the U.S. because... Um, 
because shipping is shipping rose to international so unfortunately they are only <laughs> only u.s right now <laughs> at least as far as i'm aware i could be wrong you might want to ask them you can also ask them on pokey crate or on twitter so and they're pokey crate on there as well just do at pokey crate and you can talk to them there i think they'll answer your questions if they see you maybe not i or i can ask somebody for you and then if you uh, add me on twitter i'll see you and let me know that you're sonic charge and I'll let you know if they, they're willing to ship outside the U.S. yet. Um, or, or maybe the website will let you know. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't get over this. This guy. Okay, so let's, uh, let's uh, review everything that I got from my stream here. We got the uh, Full Art Sylveon EX. We got the Flareon EX. We got, and it's not focusing very well. It's possible maybe they fixed it. Maybe they got around it. But I know that the uh, shipping rose in February at some point. So, um, like I said, Sylveon EX, Flareon EX, Promo Celebi, Blastoise EX, the Charizard, the Dedenne, and it's not focusing on Dedenne for some reason. I don't know why. There we go. The Dedenne. The Celebi. Again, the promo Celebi. Jolteon EX. According to me, Zoroark, but it's really a Veltal. A Veltal, and it's not focusing again. I don't know why. You can see my camera inside the card. Focus! Focus on the card, dang it. It's not wanting... There we go. So then you see a Veltal, or according to me, Zoroark. <laughs> Normal Sylveon EX. And it's not focusing again. Why do they keep doing that? Come on. Come on, camera. The difference is, Gamer Lover, I'm subscribed, so I get the monthly boxes. And no, there's not different sizes for monthly boxes. But there's the Sylveon EX, the, the Mew promo, Foil Octillery, a Full Art Mewtwo EX, and a Noivern Break, which I believe is the last break card I needed from Breakthrough. I'll have to check, but I'm pretty sure this is the last break card I needed from Breakthrough. So... And then from Pokey Crate we got the the Swablu, the Chikorita, the uh, Frost Lass, and the Floet. Yeah, my camera does want to go to bed. It really does. It wants to focus on those things back there instead of the things I put up in front of it. And then we got the pins, of course, and some other cards that aren't the rare ones. But um, yeah, anyway, guys, I know there's a lot of people here for me, but um, this is really the end of the stream and there's not much more for me to do, so, <laughs> um, if you have any more questions, just add me, team at ruler on Twitter, and I'll go ahead and try to answer them for you, uh, about the Pokey Crate boxes and stuff, I'll let you know, but, yeah, this is, uh, team at ruler signing out, there's not much more for me to do, and, uh, I hope you have a, you guys have a great day. Peace. <laughs> Sorry, gamer lover. <laughs> <laughs>